A few weeks ago, I made this video and you guys gave me a lot of advice about how to make the Junot sauce better. So here I am in Uganda. I've got my Junots. So yeah, let's try it again with your advice. And what I've learned from you guys is that a lot of people commented on first cook this, then add one tomato, one onion, and then let it simmer as well. And then I have, according to you guys, the perfect Gina sauce. So let's go. So first I added a piece of Gina paste and I had no idea if it was enough for two persons. And then I added a cup of water and since we didn't have running water, I had to use a jerry can. But hey, I'm just doing the way it's supposed to be done. So yeah, I added the water in the pan and I start to stir and after a while it starts to look like this. And I was really happy when it starts to look like this. And that was the moment I started to cut the onion as well. And I did it, of course, the Ugandan way and of course the tomato. And then I added it as well in the pan and stir it again. And yes, I let it simmer in between. I listened to you guys. I really, really did. And yes, I stir it with a knife because I can. Okay. Don't mind my looks, because we went to the gym in the sauna. But here is the taste test. Um, I listened to you guys, so I hope I made the real deal. I think it's nice. Mm. So what do you think? It's good. Okay. Well, according to my boyfriend, it's good. <laughs> 